As it's Alien's 40th anniversary this year, and there's been quite a bit of news about Alien and the game announcement this week, this week's Raw News is entirely about Alien. Welcome back guys, it's the Raw Geek here. So yes, earlier in the week guys, I did a video about Alien Blackout. It was announced that it was actually a mobile game after all the speculation that it would be this new FPS that Cold Iron Studios were working on, or potentially even a proper sequel to Isolation. Alien Isolation is a great game and we've been wanting a sequel, a fully fledged PC console sequel for ages. We don't think it's ever going to happen, but we kind of thought this might be it. And when it turned out to be not only a mobile game, but kind of like a sequel to Isolation because it's like that and it has Amanda Ripley, we were all really disappointed. It should have been nothing to do with Amanda Ripley and Isolation if they wanted to do a mobile game, or it should have been an announcement that they were doing a proper full version sequel to Isolation. Because it was neither of those things, it was just... <laughs> it was a slap in the face. But anyway, I probably will check out the mobile game because it seems like it might be okay and there's a little bit of extra footage of it which I'll show you now. This is Amanda Ripley. There's an alien organism in the station. It is deadly. Oh no. Go, go, go. Ripley, hide now. Move it. Help us! And so it doesn't look terrible, but. I don't know, on mobile it might be a bit small to play that, like, I don't know how that would be very immersive, you know, I'm, I'm here going, oh this is scary, but like, you know, it's a tiny little screen, so maybe if you play it on an iPad or like a Galaxy Tab or something like that, it would be better, uh, it just seems a bit of a weird choice. And like I say, I may well get it, because me holding back £5 isn't going to teach them a lesson. If everyone thinks like that, then it won't work, because if everyone's like, well, my £5 won't matter if I give it to them and we all buy it, then that's not good. But if I buy it and you guys don't have to because you can watch me play it if I if I give it, then I am only contributing that £5, you don't have to, and then they'll still get the lesson learnt that the sales aren't very good, but we can still check it out. But to be honest, that's not really going to work either. But anyway, we'll see what happens. But yes, because it is the 40th anniversary of Alien this year, released back in 1979, brilliant movie, uh, there's lots to talk about and lots of things coming. So we've got Alien Blackout, we know that's coming. And we've got Alien Resistance, the comic with Amanda Ripley. It's like a four-part version. That's, that's three. Four-part comic. The weird thing is, when I search for it, well, I've actually pre-ordered them, there's only three you can currently pre-order. So I don't know why you can't look at the fourth one, or whether it's actually only three-part. I don't know. It seems a bit odd. But anyway, when they arrive, I'll show you those briefly as well. And also there's a book... The Making of Alien coming out as well, looks to be April 23rd. And there's also still some rumours that there's an Alien series potentially being picked up by a streaming service. Now of course Disney are kind of trying to get hold of Fox at the moment, so whether it's the Disney streaming service, if they eventually work that out, I don't know. Fox are very very precious about their IP, so I don't really see them giving it out willy nilly to just like, oh Netflix you can have it, I don't know, I don't really see that happening. So it might be that Disney want to do a series for it. And so that could be good or bad, depends how cheesy it is. If they do it well, it could be excellent. We've also got a documentary coming, and it's called Memory, The Origins of Alien. So that might be interesting to check out. And there's also a 4K edition of Alien coming out. And now the 4K Ultra HD disc thing will probably be out in April. People are speculating it most likely will be the 26th of April, because written the wrong way around, 426, because that's how America do their dates, as in LV426, as in the special moon where Hadley's Hope is, and that kind of thing. So Alien Day is 426, the 26th of April. But before that, you can check it out, and this kind of makes sense time-wise, because usually a movie comes out in cinema before it comes out to purchase. On March the 1st, there will be a limited screening of Alien in 4K. So check out your local cinema, see if it's got it. Mine has, a couple of mine have already, you can pre-order already, or pre-book, whatever you'd say. Um, so I, I definitely want to go and check that out and see it remastered up on the big screen. 
Of course, I wasn't alive when it first came out, and I'm kind of jealous of people that got to see that in the cinema. They must have been blown away. Uh, but yeah, I would like to go and check that out. There's also some short fan films coming out as well, because last year they did like this, this call for people to submit their short fan films, and they're picking the best ones to release. So when they come out, presumably they'll be on YouTube, I expect, or somewhere. We'll do a reaction to those, show you those, so that might be quite good. And speaking of fan-made stuff, there is actually a fan game being created, or worked on currently, uh, by one guy in Russia, and I had a quick look at it, and there's a demo which I may well do like a playthrough for to show you guys. Uh, I don't know how long the project can survive before Fox send him a cease and desist letter, but he's put it out there, he wants people to see it, so, you know, Presumably he's okay with people putting it on their YouTube channels because I've seen a couple of people do it already, so I don't know if it will help or hinder him making the project if there's more, you know, if it's shown more on, online where Fox can see it. I don't know, but like I say, I may well do a little playthrough and show you that, or you can go and Google it now if you want. And I think it's called a, um, Hope for the Future, or Hope for the Future, and basically it takes place in Hadley's Hope, and it's before the events of Aliens, so it's when the Hadley's Hope not quite fully infested yet by Xenomorphs, but they're about to do that, so yeah. And then what else is there? Oh yes, so it has been confirmed that Cold Iron Studios still are working on their shooter for Alien. The worrying news is that it's going to be an MMO shooter, an MMO FPS, a massively multiplayer online first person shooter. But actually it might not be that bad, because if I think about it, let's, let's talk about some of the recent MMO FPS's I've played and really liked because there was that one where it was well the... oh I mean maybe I'm being a bit harsh Planet Side and Planet Side 2 are actually quite fun and maybe it'll be something like that so maybe we're all colonial marines or something like that and there's an infestation and you know we go out in factions and we're constantly having to try and battle these aliens uh, I don't see it being the sort of Aliens vs Predator online game, so it sounds more like, you know, like I say, you're a marine and there's aliens to take out. Whether that will mean there's no kind of story, I don't know. I was kind of hoping there'll be a campaign. It'd be really, really, really good if there is a kind of campaign, but co-op, so online. Uh, a bit, I don't know, a bit like maybe doing a quest in uh, an RPG. That would be excellent if they did that well. You can team up with your friends or a load of random people and you can be like, right, let's go and do that part of the mission where we have to go to this particular place. And you can all go there. And that could that could be really, really good. If it's just you're a Marine, there's loads of loads and loads of aliens and it's constantly just fighting back and forth like planet side type game. I'm not saying you'd be able to control the aliens, I don't know. Uh, that could be a bit boring, maybe a bit repetitive, a bit quickly. Like I say, I kind of was hoping there'd be some kind of story, but as soon as we know more, obviously I'll let you know, but at least we know they are still working on it, so fingers crossed it's good. Oh, and also there is some kind of bad news, in a way, uh, that Fox have confirmed, and that's that first, there's currently definitely no movie in the works, so the potential sequel to Alien Covenant, which I think was going to be called Alien Awakening, is not being worked on and doesn't look like there's any plan to do anything anytime soon. And also, and maybe I should have mentioned it earlier, uh, there's no plan to work on a fully fledged proper sequel to Alien Isolation either. Despite us really wanting it, I don't know man, it's annoying but there you go. Game over man, it's game over! So to recap, with the 40th anniversary of Alien and the read, play, watch tag if that's the right way around, the read is the comic, the four part comic, if it is four parts, of Alien Resistance with uh, Amanda Ripley. They're also doing a novel, or a novelization of Alien Isolation game, so that's coming out as well, but you know, if you played the game, whatever. The play part looks to just be currently Alien Blackout, a mobile game, uh, but we have got confirmation that the FBS is still being worked on. And the watch part seems to be potentially about the fan films, if they're due out this year and the fact that Alien 4K is coming to both the cinema for a limited time and then quite quickly afterwards on UHD for you to pick up and watch at home. And I think that about covers it. 
I think I've got all those things in there that's definitely happening this year and that might happen in the future. Yeah, a lot of things to remember, but I think that's pretty much all the news for Alien for now. It's certainly enough for one video, so yeah, hope you enjoyed that and hope it was entertaining and useful and informative and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I don't usually do a Raw News dedicated to one subject, but because it is the 40th anniversary and because it has been a hot topic this week because of Alien Blackout, I thought it was fair enough to do that for once, so hope you didn't mind that. So guys, if you like that, please click like, make sure you're subscribed for more videos like this, and I'll see you on the next video. And until then, remember, in space, no one can hear you scream. Okay, bye. Guys, if you're still here, you're awesome. Uh, but as you are still here, why not check out some of my other videos? Oh, and if you haven't already, please click subscribe. Laters, haters.